you're now interested in growing your hair and you've tried, but it's almost as if your hair isn't growing at all. It's been a while now, a couple months, maybe a month or two, and your hair seems to be retaining no length at all. Here's some things that you need to immediately stop and start doing. What's up YouTube, it's your boy Kozak and I'm back with yet another video. And today I'm gonna be telling you guys the main reason why your hair isn't growing. If you are new to my channel and you are interested in growing your hair, be sure to go ahead and subscribe and turn on post notifications. There's literally no point in subscribing if you don't have post notifications turned on. So go ahead and enable that and welcome, welcome to my channel. If this video is at all helpful to you, be sure to hit the like button, um, either at the end of the video or right now, go ahead and hit that like button um, so that it can be at the top of the charts and recommend it to more people who might be having the same issue as you. So first thing first, the main reason why your hair might not be growing is it's a blend of two reasons. So one, as far as moisture, nutrients, and what your hair needs, your hair may not be getting enough of what it, whatever it is it needs to grow whether it's a certain vitamin whether it's a certain mineral whether it's an oil um, whether you might not be eating right or might not be consuming the correct thing there's a lack of something that might be halting your hair growth number two it can also be genetic which means that your hair may grow at a slower rate than other people's um, a lot of people's hair might grow a lot faster than yours versus like your hair that might have took you two years to get to the length that you are now and someone who grew their hair in just a measly six months and they're already surpassed you in hair length. Your personal hair growth is only up to you. So don't be discouraged or don't be um, watching mainly other people's hair growth. Only focus on yours and yours alone. It might take you a little bit longer, but focus on your hair growth and trust me, the results will be worth it which brings me back to moisture. So as far as moisture goes, your hair might not be having enough minerals, nutrients, or moisture to grow. So if you aren't really putting much product in your hair or you're not putting the correct product in your hair, it can be stopping your hair's growth. What I would recommend to you is a blend, some sort of blend of essential oils, nutrients, um, blend it all together in one bottle and putting that directly into your scalp and hair, which will help to promote your hair growth. Now there's plenty of products out there that's like that where it's going to be a bunch of different um, oils like jojoba oil, olive oil, grapeseed oil, whatever. Whatever different sorts of oils that you might need or your hair or scalp might need, it's gonna be a blend of that. So there's plenty of different products that contain that, but me personally, something that helped me get this full head of hair and my hair to, and help promote my hair growth was Wild Growth Hair Oil. I have plenty of videos on it, so be sure to go through my channel and check out um, a video on it. I used the product for a year straight and grew my hair, and these are my results. You can check that video out um, right after this one. But if not, if you're not looking for Wild Growth Hair Oil or you're not, you don't wanna get that particular one, there's plenty of different oils out there. There's plenty of different companies that do this whole blend of different oils, um, but you can try that. That will actually help to promote your hair growth. So whether you're missing one thing or a multitude of things, having a blend of a bunch of different stuff, you're kind of not missing out on anything. So that's what I would recommend first thing first. The second reason that your hair might not be growing is the way that you're taking care of your hair. So that fa what falls into that category is the way that you're sleeping, is the way that you're washing your hair, is the way that you're detangling and, and combing your hair. So all of that all falls into hair care. So as far as the way that you're sleeping, say you're, you're wear your hair out and you have a bit of hair like me and you're just laying on a cotton pillow and you wake up in the morning and that's it. You don't, you don't wear any sort of like bonnet, you don't wear any sort of do-rag, you just cotton pillow and that's it. Cotton and regular like fabrics like those actually absorb um, any sort of moisture that's inside of your hair. So it's going to over, it's gonna over time dry out your hair. So that's why it's so important to protect your hair while you sleep. 
Um, so a way that you can protect your hair while you sleep is either wear a bonnet um, or either if you don't want it to go through a bonnet or a durag or a headscarf or anything like that, you can just get a satin pillow case or a satin pillow case to just slide on to your pillow so that it, your hair is now gliding. Um, which brings me now to my third reason that your hair might not be growing. Of course, not moisturizing your hair properly. You don't have to know every single bit about hair. You don't have to know how to con how to deep condition your hair. You don't have to know any sort of hair treatments or hair mask or anything like that. You don't have to get that far into it yet until you're ready. If you're a beginner and you're just now starting to take a little bit better care of your hair, what I would recommend to you is for sure, for sure, for sure, you wanna start to begin to moisturize your hair more often, as well as you wanna use a good moisturizer. So some sort of leave-in conditioner, and then you want some sort of oil to seal in all of that moisture. So the way that you would do that is, Right after you've freshly washed your hair or conditioned your hair and your hair is, you have a clean head of hair there, you wanna go ahead and apply some sort of conditioner, some sort of leave-in conditioner. Um, what I use is As I Am product, As I Am Double Buttercream. I have a video on that as well on my channel. You can be sure to check that out if you want a review on it. But that is just a leave-in conditioner that you put into your hair. Right after that, I'll go ahead and seal in all of my moisture with, a, um, with, with some sort of oil. And then lastly here, you want to go ahead and stop combing and sponging your hair harshly. Um, I don't want you to sponge your hair at all, so don't sponge it at all. Throw that away, completely throw that away. And if you're going to be picking or combing your hair, make sure you start at the ends. Make sure your hair is moisturized and you have some sort of moisture in there. And then make sure you take your time. And that is the main reasons why your hair isn't growing. If this video was helpful to you in any sort of way, be sure to leave this video a like. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button so that it can be recommended to other people who might be experiencing the same problem as you. Um, and if you are new to my channel and you are interested in hair growth, you are interested in your hair journey, if you recently cut your hair, if you're looking to grow your hair longer, if you're looking to curl your hair, if you're looking to have just overall healthier hair, be sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, and be sure to leave a comment down below if you have any sort of questions for me at all. Um, and yeah, that's all the time that I have for you guys today. I am Kozak, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.